Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time here. Um, today we've got a shootout video, and it's been quite an interesting one, and one that um, came as a surprise to me with the end result. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on with it. As you can see from the thumbnail, this is a shootout video around Alan Parsons' project, Turn of Friendly Card. Sorry about the glare, I've got them in the... Um, Japanese sleeves, but I'll take them out. I'll take them out of the uh, sleeves as I'll show them. I have three different copies here. So, Turn of a Friendly Card was released in 1980, and I have three copies. Um, one is a original first pressing, which is this one. So it's still shiny even. <laughs> taking it out of the uh, sleeve so that's the first pressing jacket um, I bought this recently it's a uh, near mint record but I suppose the VG VG plus jacket you've got a slight crease in at the top there but you know it still sounds excellent um, as I said the record the record, uh, we'll get it in the right way around, put it back. So this is a first pressing, pressed at the PRS pressing plant. Um, this is in absolutely fantastic condition as you can see. Absolutely brilliant. A lot of people with Alan Parsons, they sort of go on about I robot and uh, uh, the other one was it called Eye in the Sky, and not a lot of love is given to turn of a friendly card. I actually really like this record a lot. I listen to it quite often. So that's your first pressing. I've now got another first pressing which I bought just before Christmas. This was a mistake. I actually bought this. I ordered it as a first pressing. And when it arrived, I discovered something special about it. If you saw my video just before Christmas, this has got a sticker on it. And the sticker says, half speed mastered, limited edition, imported pressing. And down the bottom, getting, getting, getting focused, there we go. So it says, uh, specially pressed for Arista Records by Teldec, West of Germany. So on the dead wax, <clears throat> this is again from 1980. But what differentiates this from a standard PRS pressing is on the dead wax it has got. On one side or both sides? No, I think it's only one side. DLART 1-A and 1-B and then it's got manufactured in Germany stamped on the dead wax so getting this was quite interesting because uh, one it was a mistake the guy sold me it as a standard first PRS pressing it's one of the few times when I've ordered something off disc golds and the wrong pressings arrived but I've actually come out on top <laughs> so yeah this is excellent the third and last pressing I have is obviously the uh, ooh, come out it's obviously the speaker's corner this is the speaker's corner. It comes in a really nice heavy duty jacket. You've got the inners there. Obviously heavyweight, 180 gram vinyl. The lettering on this, I only noticed it when I got the first pressing. The lettering on the speaker's corner is blue, where on the original pressings they're white. So I don't know why they made it blue, but they did. So the jacket obviously is a copy of the original, 
but just in better quality. Really good quality card, actually. Really uh, thick. Uh, and it's obviously got the uh, obligatory sticker on the uh, plastic which details that this is a speaker's corner record this LP is an entirely analog production as all speakers corners are I think there's only one there's only one record in their catalogue that it's not and they're quite open about that unlike some other companies we can mention um, I think yeah I think on speakers corner there's one or two records that they sell um, which are digital um, but you know but anyway, speaker's corner, turn of a friendly card. Uh, excellent. So, for this shootout, <coughs> I played backs and forwards, back and forth, forth and back. I sort of honed in on two or three tracks that I really know well, um, dynamically. <coughs> so, I listened to... The last track on side two, Turn of Friendly Card, the sort of the big epic ending. There's some bits in that that really do define the different part, the different pressings. So, which one is the best and which one is the worst? Right, well, let's talk about Speaker's Corner. All right. <clears throat> let's just say from the outset, none of these pressings are shoddy. They are all seriously good so i'm actually talking about very sort of minute details here except in the case of this the speaker's corner pressing although sounding really really good and it is super quiet vinyl it's all analog it sounds epic however this I don't know if it's because the tapes are old when they got them, um, but obviously tapes degrade with age. Um, you know, they don't sound as good as they were when they were new. So obviously this is 1980, this is, what, 43 years old. You know, so the tapes are 43 years old. So when Speakers Corner got this, I think they'd done this about 12 years ago or thereabouts. So that was 33 years ago, or 30 years ago, they done this. Uh, 12, 13 years ago, sorry. Uh, the tapes were like still 30 years old. Um, it sounds really good. Um, dynamics are there. But there's parts in this where and and, and it, it's really noticeable on turn of the last turn of friendly card the the ending there's a bit where the drums come in just before the guitar solo starts and there's reverb on the drums and there's a tambourine that you can hear on the original but you can't you can hear it on this but it's not as bright as the other two pressings. So although this is really good, I don't feel there's enough, I think it's top end, there's a lot of top end missing on this. It's very middly, it's very sort of in the middle, quite a bit of bass, but a lot of low end, a lot of mids, but not much in the way of top end. This is very similar to um the the feeling i got when i listened to the reissue of berlin by lou reed it's lacking top end it's got a lot of bass and a lot of mid mid frequencies but not much else this is seriously good don't get me wrong but i don't think it's the best out of the three i've got and i've been living with this for the last four years or so five years and i was well happy with it and it is really good however <clears throat> the best is actually out of these two but which one so you would expect the half speed master cut at a half speed in Germany at Teldec 
you know, they're cutting it at half speed, so they're allowing more information into the grooves. You know, in the way of highs and lows. This is not dissimilar to an original PRS pressing. It's very similar. And as I, as I was saying earlier on, it's very, very um, close. We're talking about minute detail now. When we're talking about the, the Half Speed Master and the PRX, we're talking about minute detail. This is really good. Um, as a Half Speed Master, you can pick this up for about, till deck, you can pick this up for about £15. I think you can't buy this for less than £30, £40, £50 on Discogs. If you want a really good sounding copy, go for this. When they press this, the tapes are still new. They run it at half speed, so you're getting more information, allegedly, into the grooves, but there's something a bit, I don't know, there's something missing, and I can't put my finger on it. This is, by far, the best pressing of Turner of Friendly Card I've got. This is the original PRS first pressing. This pops out the speakers. This fills the room. I mean, the, the, that this does as do. The Teldec Half Speed Master is still excellent and really worth getting. They're very similar, very similar sounding. Like I said, you can't get a cigarette paper between them. But it's a big departure from this. This is very different to these two. Um, these are brighter, they've got more top end. There's more definition on the reverb on the drums. The drums pop out, where on this they're almost muffled, uh, where there's too much mid frequencies, I think, I feel. The tambourine on um, Turner Friendly Card, the last one, it just, it shimmers, where on this, it's a little bit dull, if that makes sense. The Half Speed Master, if you see it, buy it. I paid, this is the first pressing, in near mint condition, I paid £10 for this, with £3 shipping, £13. And this absolutely floors uh, the speaker's corner, in my eyes. Absolutely brilliant pressing. If you're on the market for Alan Parsons, get a first pressing or a pinch. Get the Teldec Half Speed Master. You won't be disappointed. This is really, really, really good. Um, it's, I think the, 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 the first pressing and the Teldec pressing, I think certain tracks are shine better on one pressing than the other and vice versa. So they're very similar, but certain tracks that I particularly like on this album are better on the first pressing. You know, it's, but the speaker's corner, although, you know, it's, it, they're an excellent label, you know, a big shout out to speaker's corner. They do a fantastic job in sourcing these, these original master tapes and keeping vinyl alive they do a fantastic job i do honestly believe that um this is not as good as a first pressing though it isn't there's just so much to get out of either of these really either of these you know there's like i said you can't get cigarette paper before them but at a pinch get a first pressing it really is the way to go it's a prs pressing and it is just absolutely fantastic so it's only my opinion as always just my opinion and it is just on my system you know you could put this on like a a fifty thousand pound or seventy thousand dollar system and probably get a different result this is on my system but it is pretty subjective and it is obviously uh, relative because, you know, the, the, the cheaper the system. I've got a Rager system with an all-tube amplifier. And I, I think it's for, a, you know, a, a system, it's a good 
system for listening back to records. Um, yeah, first pressing, turn for friendly card, Alan Parsons project. Um, thanks for joining me, and with that, hit like and subscribe, do all the usual stuff, and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.